Tomorrow, welcome back. So we kept mostly cloudy skies through most of the day. Unfortunately, this system making its way through had uh, less rain than we thought, so we could always use the moisture and temperatures uh, under the clouds much cooler than they have been. Uh, we fall into below average levels. We should be into the lower 80s this time of year, so we went from way above that to way below that. Uh, here's a look at the current temperatures in North Platte. 63 degrees, winds north northeast around 17 miles per hour, and the dew point at 49 degrees. So still a little dry out there, not a lot of humidity. So temperatures outside look like this. So we are at 60 at Broken Bow, 66 at Lexington, lower 60s Ogallala and Imperial, mid 50s out toward Hyannis and Thedford Valentine holding at 60 degrees with the winds flipping around to a northerly or even northeasterly direction. That is a cool flow for us. Wind speeds right now, uh, just a light breeze. We'll say 10 to 20 miles per hour, maybe some higher gusts in our uh, southern and southwestern counties. So as for the moisture, it's in the form of clouds for most of us, but as you make your way into the sand hills, especially north of Arthur and Tryon, we do have some shower activity. Not much, but we'll keep at least the possibility of some showers as we make our way through the rest of the evening. So the rain is behind the cold front. That's why this really strong cold front came through and we really didn't have to deal with severe weather from it. The moisture coming upslope from this easterly wind, this high pressure system is a lot cooler and it will crest over us as we make our way through, uh, say, around Sunday into early Monday. Other than that, most of the moisture across the country is into the uh, southeast, and we do have that tropical storm off the California coast. But as we make our way through the next couple of days, we'll keep the chance of some showers on and off as we go through your Friday evening and into Saturday morning. Lows should be near 50 degrees. Any of the shower chances, and we actually could see a few peaks of sunshine by tomorrow afternoon before it does set, but with that strong northerly wind, high temperatures once again will be into the mid to upper 60s and then going through Sunday we clear out pretty nicely now that's going to give us a really cool overnight lows in the lower 40s but high temperatures as we go through the day on Sunday we'll get right back up there into the mid to upper 70s so still a little cooler than average but the wind also flips around to a southerly direction and that will continue to warm us up so we'll lose the clouds as we go from Saturday to Sunday this high pressure system crests over us we'll lose that northerly wind and then it's back to that pattern that we've had uh, since uh, earlier this week. The high is over us, moving to our east, and we do have that strong southerly flow, so we will warm up pretty nicely. Here's the forecast for tonight. We will have cloudy skies, some scattered showers. It'll be cooler, upper 40s to lower 50s with that northerly wind, and mostly cloudy skies and scattered showers lasting through the day tomorrow. Winds north 10 to 15. High temperatures only into the mid to upper 60s, but right back to sunshine as we go through the day on Sunday, and temperatures are already already warming up the wind from south southwesterly direction so a high temperature of 74 in north platte all the way up to 84 at broken bow upper 70s at ogallala imperial and valentine now for the day on monday all the way up to 85 and then back to near 90 on tuesday lots of sunshine to begin next week and then we have partly cloudy skies wednesday thursday and friday we'll keep that 20 to 30 percent chance of some afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms hopefully we can pick up some moisture from this one but temperatures are going to stay warm. Now we're approaching mid-September. 90 is pretty warm for this time of year. We sh we're going to fall back to highs near 80 by the end of next week. Kent and Melanie? Yeah, so uh, to today and tomorrow, uh, still a little chilly, though. The cool down is just a teaser. We're still going to have some warm weather. Yeah, we're not done yet. <laughs> we're not done yet. Thanks, Justin. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are planning to spend some time outdoors, here's some important information for you to consider. Mosquitoes in Lancaster County are testing positive for West Nile virus. One case of the virus is being reported in the county this year. Ten were reported last year, with one resulting in a death. Now, the Lincoln County the Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department warns you to be cautious when you are outside. Well, we talked about our fall-like weather, so...